Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can put items on a circle as you see over here and this is pretty good because you need to understand how to basically utilize SCSS and SAS to create these kind of you know uh, sort of uniform uh, layouts and uh, these will be based for uh, creating awesome animations. So let's just get started by learning how to put stuff around the circle. So I'm going to start fresh. Uh, as always, I, I need to tell you I'm using the code codity.io to create these prototypes. Uh, let's start by creating a container. And then I'm going to put like eight sort of divs within that container. And the way to do that is div multiplied by eight in this editor and then press tab. You're going to get eight divs. Now going back, I'm just going to style in the CSS. I'm going to style my container to be, you know, the position to be absolute, left 50%, top 50%. Uh, I, basically, I'm essentially centering the container over here, right? And now I'm actually going to go and use SCSS or SAS predominantly here for this uh, tutorial. I'm just going to press save and the reason why I'm doing that is because using SAS I can get like uh, programming language functions and constructs and you know iterative items. For example I can use uh, num elements here as a variable. I know that I have eight in my HTML over here so I need to keep track of that. The other thing is that since we are going to make a circle out of it let's just create the circle first. So 200 pixel, height 200 pixel, and then maybe a border <clears throat> of one pixel solid, maybe DDD. All right. Now I'm just going to transform, translate minus 50% and minus 50% to kind of center this in the middle of the window. And the last part is to make it a circle, the border radius. 50% right so you can see that I have a circle over here now what I want to do is that I want to keep track of this as well so width and height here so I'm just going to call it radius here and I would put 200 pixels right now I'm just going to go ahead and change these to radius uh, because I already defined it in this variable over here now you can see that I get the same thing right now the next step is to style our uh, dots or basically our divs over here, right? To do that, I'm going to just style one of them. Let's see how it happens. So let's say container uh, and then div. Basically, I'm just going to say width, maybe, I don't know, 40 pixel, height 40 pixel, and then background color. Uh, I'm just going to use orange here and uh, you'll see that it looks like this and uh, setting the position absolute we'll put all of them uh, above each other then border radius this border radius is 50% to make it round and nice now I need to kind of center it over here right so I'm just going to say left 50% top 50% right but I also need to get back uh, you know to to get back the half size in width and height of this circle to make it in the center right to be able to do that i actually going to put this width and height which is uniform both 50% i'm just going to say circle size right i'm just going to put it over there and here instead i'm going to use circle size and i'm going to use the same for the height as well and then here to center this i'm going to use margin actually margin minus i know the circle size and then i divide it by two right the good thing as you can see it kind of centered itself as you can see uh, in sas or scss you basically can do sort of arithmetic operations as easy as this right so now the whole idea is how to kind of make sure that we put it on the circle so the way we do it is very simple first I mean, right now, it's like eight circles, one on top of each other, right? That's why you see only one. But the idea is that 
I know the element, I know that the circle is like 360 degrees, so I will create a uh, sort of uh, what I call angle, uh, just like this. And then I say 360 divided by my num elements, right? That's how I get the corresponding iterate uh, sort of iterations that I have to go through over here to put eight circles uniformly around this circle, right? So 360 and then num elements. This gives me my angle. Now I'm going to use the construct like a for loop for i from 1 through 8 right now what I'm gonna do is that I use container div but I need to use nth child to get to select each child the way you do that through this I is that you use hash and then I like this this kind of goes through this loop from 1 to 8 which is corresponding I actually can instead of 8 use num elements right here and then basically what I want to do, I want to use a transform. What the transform does, first I want to rotate the angle, right? Uh, basically, let's say, let's just show like this, zero, and then I want to translate it. So basically, I'm rotating it zero degree, which does nothing, right? Then I want to translate it half of the width or height, which we defined here as radius, right? So I'm just going to translate it radius divided by 2 so as you can see it actually put over here we rotated it 0 degree I need to rotate it back right minus 0 degree the way I this is completely like uh, irrelevant but I'm gonna tell you why we need to start from an angle 0 so I'm just gonna set 0 and then every iteration I want to add this angle to my r this rot variable right so for example, it will start from zero, then we add first angle is going to be like over here maybe, and then here, and then here, and then here, on this iteration down here. So here, I already have the rot zero. I'm just going to put rot instead of zero here, which starts with zero, obviously. But now, obviously, what you need to do is multiply this by degree. So degree because the rotation is by degree instead of this I'm just gonna say minus one degree right now after each of these iterations at the end of these iterations I want to say I want my rot to be rot plus angle right the angle that I have so now if you see all the circles are uniformly uh, put on the circumvent of the circle right circumference of the circle now why the reason why is that in this for loop, what happens is that the first time the rot is initialized by zero. So it will put zero over here. So the angle will be zero and it translates it to the half of the, you know, the width or height or what we call radius of this circle and put it over there, right? So predominantly here. And then it adds the rot value by the angle, which is here on top, 360 divided by monom elements, which is pretty much like this angle over here right or even this angle or this angle talking about the amount of it and then it basically on next iteration of the for loop it instead uses that rod and it goes all around until it gets 360 right so it starts from here goes 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 here and comes here so and then now if you basically remove the border radius border here you'll see that now it actually is very nicely uniform and then you even can change the the good thing with SAS is that now you can change these values so for example if I change the cir circle size from 40 to 20 you will still get the same thing but smaller circles now I can even make these from 8 to 12 right but also I need to go ahead and add four more because I only have eight here so four more here you'll see that you still get the same Thing with the more circles on uh, around the circle right so okay now this is going to be the base of some of the awesome animations or tutorials that we're gonna have later on I can actually showcase some of them for you so you will see the power of this when you start using SAS or SCSS 
So in the future tutorial, we're going to see how we can create, for example, this one, how we can create something like this. Pretty cool, right? I actually personally like this very much. And then also something like this, right? And these are all based on the fact that, you know, based on how you actually put uh, sort of circles around the circumference of, of a bigger circle. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like or share this video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I wish to see you very